Eyelashes also hide his eyes. He says that he didn't used to like going outside and being seen, but since his fame from his hair, he now aspires to be a rock star. Number nine, Chandra Bahadur Danji. Chandra from the. I thought this was a list of like you know ten men you won't actually believe. Exist. I mean, I know I am one of them. Like you wouldn't believe I'm like. If you hear about me, like it's it's. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's you like, want to be top three, nigga. Look at the top ten. Like, look like, for real. Like, I didn't expect. Like, you know, you feel me? Like, y'all ever damn. wonder why most of these people are like in different countries except like America? But that's crazy. That's I like, mean, most of them tall ass niggas is like somewhere in Africa. Like, them that is facts. Lanky though. ass. You rarely hear like a, a seven foot nigga living in America. Like nigga, dead ass like, though. That's facts. Sean Bradley, I know he's not even white, bro. That nigga, I mean, he's white, but. He probably from not American. Yeah. One foot and nine inch tall, making him the shortest man to ever live. Damn. After winning the title in the Guinness World Record book in he traveled around the world, despite never leaving his village where he had grown up before oh, winning the title. Chandra died. I thought that nigga had meatballs all around his neck for a second, bro. But, wow. <laughs> and I'm like, so bro. you think you're Mr. Funny Guy today, huh? Wow. I'm yeah. not roasting the nigga. I'm roasting what's around him, bro. Leave my nigga alone, bro. Bro, so you're telling me he's about as tall as that speaker? Me, bro. He got, got more head than he nigga, got Nigga, if I see some shit like that, he is like the same size as this. 
That's fucking wild. Wait, hold on. No, he's probably a little bit taller if you add like the head. So he's probably like that. That nigga fun size. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm gonna lie. Crazy, bro. I, you, bro, you about to make me laugh. <laughs> I say he's 5th December 2015, at age 75 from pneumonia. Number 8, Arlindo de Souza. In 2014, Alright, I'm on your sack potato <laughs> and all that ass! That bro, was... y'all remember when Squidward had all the Krabby Patties, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you live? Trains, nigga. What the hell? Mr. Incredible ass arm. No, bro, you like, should but he not. looked like he looked like Lobster Larry, nigga, off a of SpongeBob boy. Strong <laughs> ass arm. Bro, no, nah, nigga, your your arms should not look like their stomachs, bro. And then this nigga has a spot just for his tank top shits, bro. Like, nigga, them jaws are stuck right there. <laughs> and I'm mad how he's move. just putting his hands behind his back like he's buff as hell. Like, nah, nigga, you is. That's act- steroids, bro. It's That's just, gotta be because I don't know nigga, what got, the hell. He got, Nigga put bowling balls in his arm, nigga! <laughs> the hell? With a potentially lethal concoction to make his muscles grow to an unbelievable size. Bro. The concoction consisted of alcohol and oil, which he injected into his arm. Immediately after the injection, his arm started to swell up. Arlindo is a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger and can now mirror his physique with his 29-inch biceps. Many people have died from the substance, including Arlindo's own friend, Paul Hino, who died from infection caused by the substance. Number 7. Tom Staniford In today's world, many people aspire to be skinny. However, Tom Staniford from England, whose body is 0% fat, probably has a very different ideology. He is one of the 8 people in the world who suffer from MDP, meaning that he is unable to store fat under his skin. Tom has to eat every 15 minutes to survive and may endure other difficulties that being 0% fat provokes. However, his disease hasn't... He has to you know how annoying that... You know how annoying that... So what if he went to a buffet? That won't count. Hey, I, I store fat, fat bro. bro. I eat 15 minutes too, bro. I don't know. Wait, be mad at wait, so him going to a buffet don't count, nigga? Does that mean he gets full fast, too? Yeah, but, but imagine you're not even hungry, bro. You still got to put sun in your stomach, bro. Nah, he gets hungry every 15 minutes. Where do you sleep, bro? You got to wake up, bro. <laughs> Wait, my nigga, no. Like, let's that pause nigga. a second. Like, this nigga has to eat 15. So what if he, like, was full, full, like, nigga, oh, I can't eat type shit. Like, nigga, he, he still get, has to eat. He can't get full because he's not storing fat, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah, his yeah. metabolism is too fat. That shit move fast, bro. Damn, my nigga. So how much time is a day doing shit? Nigga, that means, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that means he has to shit at least, at least 10 to 20 times a day. Damn, that's a lot of shit. If your metabolism yeah. is like that, nigga, oh yeah. He always got put up. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh man. <laughs> Living life to the fullest. He has he a degree in law and French and is now a Paralympic cyclist. Number six, Leonid Stadding. Leonid is a farmer from a small village in the Ukraine and is believed to be the tallest man on the planet. He measures eight feet and four inches and Bro, wears side. Si- eight fucking feet. feet! Why are you not in the NBA? Why are you not in the NBA? Cause it's too bro, slow, nobody gonna touch that nigga, bro. Why are you not? No, yeah. nigga. Like, no, 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 no. This nigga it's can make Boban look like a point guard. But he's too slow, bro. If you eight feet, bro, you damn well. Nigga, look he at this bro, it does not boots. matter. That's the fucking Look at him. He can walk boots. into the paint. By the way, I think, bro, there's everybody on the damn fast break, you got this nigga. Make nigga, he's only eight boat. foot though. By the by nigga, thing, bro. but for real, but low key, nigga, just tell this nigga stay on the offense. Nigga, man. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> nigga, they don't, bro. Look, 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 nigga, look, look, look. He's eight fucking foot. He doesn't have to be fast. The nigga strides just like is, fucking this dinosaurs. This, this nigga in the NBA talking bro. about some passing the ball. He's standing it, right bro. next to the rim talking about some. Mm. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, he can make oh, Bobon, who's a person who's like seven fucking five, look like a damn point Wait, guard. What is it, eight what? Nigga, he's eight, 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 eight four. four. Damn, that's tall. Yeah, but he can't move that fast, bro. eight feet and four inches and wears size 27 shoes. God damn. Guinness damn. attempted to measure him. However, he's very shy, and Guinness have stated that he didn't want to appear in the book. However, in 2013, his mother confirmed his outrageous height. Number five, Patrick oh, Doyle. This 53-year-old American man damn. is the heaviest man in the world. 
Weighing in it. America of duty. course, of course, it's America. Hey, bro. I'm heavy. Oh, of course, it is America. How did I turn the subtitles on? I just turned the subtitles on. It's America. America is crazy. only known to be the heaviest motherfucker. That nigga like the world. dirty bubble, boy. I'm about to go on your fucking dog. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, not, we got to stay away from this one. This one's sad. Huh? This Why they all sad, sad bitch? <laughs> Y'all have been laughing at everybody. Nigga, 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 I laughed at the nigga, hairy nigga because, nigga, hair, you can get a haircut. Like, nigga, you can just... Like, shit like, shit like, like this, this nigga. Th- this years, was bro. preventable. Nigga, being born into the world and only being a foot tall, that's not preventable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nigga, having a, a, a hair uh, genetic thing, that's not preventable. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, nigga, you were not born like this. My nigga, prevent yeah. your trip from McDonald's, my nigga. Prevent oh, that. that. Prevent hey, the Domino's going on. That nigga could looking. be, he, he could be depressed, bro. We don't know what's going hey, on. Hey, look, look. I ain't saying this is like, bro, come yeah. on, bro. I ain't yeah, saying this. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Bro, you see my titties, bro? Nah. We on the same boat. Nah, but for real, though, like, nigga, you can, people who are like this, bro. Because most of the time, they don't give a damn. Most of the, that's that's the case most of the time. Or if they just like eating, they just but, but I don't feel yeah, bad. For, I don't feel bad for up. that. You right. know, right. like I'm happen. not gonna say I'm not gonna say that's not a bad situation to be in. But what I'm yeah. saying is, nigga, for you to be in that situation, nigga, it was you that did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, nobody was force feeding you. He mm-hmm. wasn't born like that. Maybe you went through some series a series of uh, situations where you just was like down and out, mm-hmm. and you was like, man, this plate got me. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, nigga, I ain't about to feel bad that you right here. Mm-hmm. Cause you were the one that did that. Keep in mind, like nigga, if you big and you love how you just nigga love your body, mm-hmm. but also mm-hmm. take care of your body, like mm-hmm. nigga, at the yeah. same time. Yeah. You feel me? Like nigga, you don't get big to the point where you can't move, but like I'm here. That, Shit, you can be big, but nigga, when yeah, you much at the point where you just lay on the bed, big, big, incredible, hug, big. Yeah, like if you can't, if you like, if you're in the shoes where you like, you just don't give a fuck, and yeah. you're in the predicament of like nigga, I don't care. It's good to be big. Don't get it fucked up. It's much love to the big woman. Much love to the big men. But, like, nigga, when you like this, it's, like, at the point where it's, like, nigga, now you don't respect yourself. Yeah. You don't respect. Now, I can't say that, though. I it's can't even say about that. that. When you hey, bro. Some people love it like that. If yeah. you love it like that, then it is what yeah, it is. It is what it is. Let's just get know. back into this video. Thousand Pounds, the former restaurant owner from Nebraska, featured on the documentary The Half Ton Man. At his worst condition, he had not left his house or his bed for seven years and was so enormous that his bedroom wall had to be cut out to extract him from his home. Number four, Gary Turner. Gary Turner from the UK has a rare condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which means he can stretch his skin more than the average human. He can stretch his stomach skin to around 16 centimeters and his neck skin to around eight centimeters. He claims that the extreme stretching doesn't hurt at all and enjoys showing his stretchiness to his friends and family. Number three, Amu Hadij. This man, <laughs> Why do you hey, keep bro. laughing at these niggas? That nigga look like he work on cars. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga look, look like. To the I ain't gonna like. This is kind of fucked up, but he look like a burnt koala. <laughs> <laughs> Disease or skin condition, he just hasn't washed in over sixty years. This 80 year old Wait, Iranian what? man. He hasn't up- washed in sixty fucking years. And why is that? That is bad, bro. bro. Why don't you want to take a shower, back, bro? Wait, play this bro. Back. That back. is Rewind bad. Rewind that is fucking bad. <laughs> this man doesn't have any kind of disease or skin condition. He just hasn't washed in over 60 years. This 80-year-old Iranian man is arguably the dirtiest man alive. He lives a simple life in his tiny village, and his most prized position is a pipe that he uses to smoke animal dung with. He smokes around 100 cigarettes a day, and it is not known why he has chosen this bizarre lifestyle. Number two, Mohammed Kalim. Despite oh only being damn, bro. Patrick on his finger, man. Like I see that job. Nah, ain't bro. Hey, you ever seen Spy Kids, bro? The thumbs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just let that thumb fucking die. I paid one of y'all twenty dollars to slap box this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first and foremost, we would like to apologize for how childish we've been we laughed throughout this whole, this whole video at a lot of bizarre situations that we haven't seen may i point out because i think this may be the fact that we have never seen something like this so our first resort is to laugh yeah. and to you know it's all right though it, yeah we are not joking to like hurt these people's feelings y'all yeah, know how sure. we are y'all know we, we, just, we ain't doing that to do that you know what i mean we just entertain it but this no i'm mad at your ass when he said that that nigga got patrick hands like, you shouldn't have said that. Muhammad from India has the largest hands in the world. He is bullied by his peers and villagers believe he is cursed. 
Together, his arms weigh a staggering two stone. Kalim's parents only earn $360 a year, meaning that they couldn't do anything about their son's That's hand. So However, after gaining international media attention, he is now finally being treated by medical experts in India. Number one, Paul Karrison. Paul Karrison, aka Papa Smurf, has blue-coloured skin due to a silver compound that he used to treat dermatitis on his face with. He says that he welcomes it's the horrible. nickname Papa Smurf only when it is said by kids. Oh, no, in two, he I, injected something. In his have y'all ever read this book, The Purple Boy? The Purple Boy? No, I don't read books. There's a book. I don't <laughs> like reading really books. I'm I surprised I read this one, nigga. It was like back in. Thirteen. Paul died of a stroke, unrelated to his skin condition. When he died, I swear he was. Thanks, nigga, Paul. I heard about this nigga like two, three, like last year. Bro, I, I swear that's the purple. Paul was murdered. Screw all that. This nigga got his head next to a great white shark. I think we, we reacted to that. Dude. What type Bro, of brand is this? What the fuck? Oh, that's shit. Oh, that's shit. Oh, that shit photoshop. Yeah, nigga. What y'all think about the video? The video. Bro, man, this video was fucking crazy. It was lit, bro. It was lit. It was. I've seen a lot of shit. I think, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now what you need to start doing, bro. For me, bro. Put a fucking battery in the right corner, bro. A battery? Yeah, oh, like really this like, battery? Yeah, like, those are just probably talking about some jet meter. Yeah, yeah, but that would be it for this video, man. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. God loves you. God bless you. And we see you out of here.